Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and uh, I make apps. So today, when all you have is a hammer, you still need to pick the right technology. So there's a really popular saying that you've probably heard before, which goes like this. When all you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail, which means that we see the problems around us based on the tools that we have to solve them. And although this saying wasn't meant for software development, I can think of no better place to apply it. So many times we look at a software problem and we devise a solution based on the technologies that we know or the technologies that we like. So many times I've been I've talking to software developers and I'll say like, okay, we have this mobile application and I need a backend API and I want to use Node.js and a NoSQL database for this one for various reasons. And sometimes they'll come back and say, we would rather do this in PHP and MySQL. And I'll say, and, and I'll ask why, why should we use those technologies? And they say, because that's what we know. But I'm, I do the same thing. I'm guilty of this in the past too. A lot of times I'll come up with a technology or like a solution based on the technology that I know really well without knowing that another technology exists. And this is something over the last three or four years, I started to become more of a generalist than a specialist. Like if I'm hiring a developer, I want a specialist. But if I'm looking for a solution, I need to be a generalist. I need to see other solutions that are out there. Right. I can remember once working in a contract where we did a we did a website and it was like a very simple website they came to us for and uh, and it was decided we we're going to do it in SharePoint, which was which was really difficult because they didn't have any reason to be there, but they wanted they really they just got this new SharePoint service and no no we wanted to be on SharePoint and it it was such a slow process. I mean it was like the wrong tool for the wrong job. And it just, the whole project suffered because of it. And a lot of times you make those wrong architectural, architectural decisions early on and it messes everything up. Right now we have a project, and again, like I said, I'm guilty of this sometimes. We have a project which we use one technology for and I'm starting to think, no, maybe we should have done it in something else. I'm even starting to consider going back and just rewriting it. Like it's a... It's kind of, it's done on a game framework. I've done this in the past before where we did something on a game framework and it really should have been a, a business application framework. So we just went through and rewrote it after after a couple of months of waste. But, you know, so it was like a few really late nights just getting everything back up to speed. And a lot of times you make these decisions wrong in the beginning, you just really, really regret it. The reason I bring this up is because I work with software developers all the time. A lot of you guys do too. A lot of you guys hire software developers and it's something to look out for to make sure that, yeah, it's not their fault either. I mean, we all do it. You, if you don't know something else exists, if you're very, you want to hire the specialist for the job you want, but if you don't know what you want, then you want the generalist, right? So the generalist and specialist, a lot of times people say you should be a specialist and not a generalist because you get paid more money, which you do. But sometimes you need the generalist who just knows everything that's out there. There are some technologies which I know really well and I'm very proficient in. And there's other ones which I know slightly well, but I know they exist in case we need to get somebody to work on those. So just something to think about. You know, it's a mistake that I think we all make in the past. I've done it a few times and uh, more times than I like to admit to. But uh, have you guys ever done that where you made a wrong decision on which technology to use and it came back and bit you in the end? With hybrid technology, this could do, could happen too. Sometimes you go native and you don't need to go native. It's overkill. And sometimes you go hybrid and then later on you realize you should have gone native because performance problems you know, or vice versa. You go you go native and then you they want to go to the other platform. You think if we had gone hybrid, we would have done that too. So it really is something to to think about that that those early discussions which technology we're going to use and it shouldn't be limited to the ones that you know or to the ones that your developers know so anyway just some thoughts for today that's it for today i'll talk to you guys again tomorrow